out your name. Let it ride. We're gonna let it ride. Let it ride. We're gonna let it ride. First-time visitor. Good morning, Central. Good morning. Amen. How many of you believe when praises go up, blessings come down? You truly, truly believe when praises go up, blessings come down? I'm going to ask that you would just remember that whenever you give God an offering, you praise in God. Oh, I didn't get no hand clap on that. It's all right. Whenever you give in God an offering, you are praising God. Amen. Amen. So now if you want some blessings to come down, let us just praise the Lord in giving. It's offering time in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 It's that time of service where we bring back to God a portion of what he has blessed us with. And that's in his tithes and our offering. I would ask that you would please stand as we ask God's blessing on what we're about to present to him. <coughs> Malachi, the third chapter, says, Will a man rob God? Yet we say, When have we robbed thee? And he answered us in tithes and offerings. Goes on to tell us to bring all the tithes and offering to the storehouse that there may be meat for thy people, then prove me not herewith, said the Lord of hosts, that he would not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you should not have room enough to receive it. it says in Second Corinthians that the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. So as we come around this morning, let us come with joy in our heart and a smile on our face. Amen. Amen, because God's been mighty good to us. Let us bow our heads. Father God, in the blessed name of Jesus, Lord, once again we come saying thank you. Father, we thank you for just allowing us to have the privilege to bring back to you your tithes and our offering. Father, we thank you for the job that you have given to us. And Father, we ask now in the name of Jesus that as we bring you back your tithes and our offering, Father, we would ask that you let us come with a joyful spirit. Let us come with joy in our heart and a smile on our face. Let us come knowing that it's just a privilege to give back to you only a portion of what you have already blessed us with. And Father, we ask now that you bless this offering for the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. All of God's children say amen. 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 Send a few face each other outside, a few face the wall. And you're now in the direction of our junior ushers.
That ought to be your testimony that the Lord is blessing me. Do I have any witnesses here? When is he doing it? Right now. Oh, right now. What's the evidence of it? Know that the Lord is blessing you. Come on, put your hands together. Let's celebrate it here this morning. Somebody shout right now. Right now. Right now. I'll go ahead and say it now. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the Lord is blessing me. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this building. Do you realize what a blessing it is to still be here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 17 is about to leave, 18 is about to come, and it's a, just a blessing to be alive. Do I have a witness in here? Somebody was complaining that the pastor is supposed to be real cold. Do you know it's a blessing to feel the cold? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's just a joy to be in the house of the Lord. We're reaching the blessed name of God, our Father, Jesus, our Redeemer, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, and our Guide. To our presiding officer, Reverend Kenneth Wilson, to you, my brothers and sisters, on this Christian journey, we say good morning to you. Amen. Remember today we have our 11 o'clock services and then we have baptism this evening at 6 o'clock. Those who have been baptized, who, received the right, who will receive the right hand of fellowship who joined the church recently. At 6 this evening, we're going to baptize you in 2017 before 2018. Come in. Amen, somebody. Amen. Somebody said, Reverend, said y'all done a lot on that day. How much is too much for God? That's right, Pastor. And then our watch night service begin at 7 o'clock tonight. Right. After baptism, we're going to watch night service 7 to 8. You said, Pastor, I thought it was 11. You come at 11, you'll be here by yourself. Well, well. Amen, somebody. Amen. Last year, I was sitting at Ruby Tuesday eating grilled barbecue salmon at 8.15. Well. Amen, somebody. Thank you, God. And then after you leave here, if you want to go see what they, who they have, a nappy root, a nappy. When I think a nap, I think a head. Well, I don't know about all these groups with these names and rip, rap, rat, cat, or some of that other stuff, but whatever they have now, down, y'all welcome to go, but be here yourself. Amen, somebody. We're leaving Amen. out at 8 o'clock. There's a sweet spirit in this place. I know this is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. We remind you that we'll resume our Bible set on January the 10th. That's not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. 
And then we're looking forward to our couples retreat that is going to be in Barefoot Landing this year. And it's $325 per couple, and that's cheap, y'all. We go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and pay $325. That is very cheap. That's very reason. Y'all tell your significant other, say, I'm worth it. That's right. Y'all got mighty quiet. <laughs> say, I'm worth it. And it ought not to be no split 325 Amen, somebody. Amen. And somebody taking you, that will take care of the cost. Amen. 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 Remember, this is a, a, a couple's retreat, but this is a married couple retreat. Well. Let me help somebody here. Married couple retreat. We are spending the night. Do I have to? Now, sometimes we have a couple of workshops here, but you come in, you do it, then you're going back home. This is overnight. Do I need to be any clear? No, sir. All right. As long as we're clear, we're good. Eight minutes, somebody. That's awesome right there. Brother Tyrell, I look back there and saw them. You got drum, you got gloves on your hand. Those are drummer's gloves. I ain't never heard of that in my life. <laughs> I looked like that. I saw a white glove flipping up. I thought Michael Jackson or somebody was in here. Boy, he had that glove going like that. Jazz, and man, I tell you, I don't know what's happening. I tell you, I don't know what that has to do with worship service. I just felt like saying that. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen. And 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 join me this evening at at seven o'clock. I want to preach on the sermon idea. I got something to shout about. That's all right. I've got something to shout about. Amen. John, as I promise you, we won't hold you long today, but we've had a series of death, a series of homegoing service lately, but I say to encourage those family that God is still able. Yes, he is. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 remind us, trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not into our own understanding, all our ways acknowledge him, he shall direct our path. Be very prayerful with those who suffer bereavement with their family. And don't ever tell people what you lost. Tell them what you got left. That's right. You got the precious memory that's still lingering. Sister Cheryl came from our issue ministry. Cheryl, raise your hand back that stand ground. We know that we're praying for your family. Stay encouraged in the Lord, all right? That Christian, that we're lifting up in prayer too. That brother Napoleon Johnson, who was a trustee with us during my time at the Brooklyn Baptist Church, transitioned to be with the Lord. Continue to pray for the uh, Diane Pilgrim Baptist Church, where Reverend Willie E. Dagnes, our pastor, transitioned to be with the Lord. And we're lifting that family in prayer. Continue to lift in prayer the family of Reverend Norris Turner, who pastored the Gethsemane Baptist Church in Blair, South Carolina. His service is going to be today at 1 o'clock in Greenwood. Tremendous friend, tremendous supporter with our Gethsemane Association. And a great singer, singing national all over the place, continue to lift him and that family in much prayer. Amen. And we continue to lift up Trustee Blundell, Montague's family, and Sister Patricia Van Hannigan family. We have a lot going on later, but God is still able. Now, normally on the fifth Sunday, we always lift four times a year a quarterly seed offering. And we lift that offering to bless the community. We sow seeds throughout our community. Just because you have light does not mean everybody else may have light. That's right, sir. Just because you have food and you throw away what you don't want to eat, somebody's looking for your leftovers. The true measure of a church is not what it does for itself, but the true measure of a church is what it does for others. Amen. 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 And when you sow, God is never concerned with the amount, but God is concerned with your heart. I called Chairman Richardson yesterday, Chairman Rob Deacons. I said, Deacon Richardson, we have our seed offering on in the morning. I said, I'm thinking about counseling the seed off. Did I not, Deacon? After I talked with Deacon, we agreed, but I went and talked to God, and God said, don't do it. Said, now, who am I going to listen to? He's Ellen Richardson or God. <laughs> Because we didn't want to do it. We said it's been crystals, they've been through a lot, don't do it. Then the Lord touched my heart, says, So and you have grown. That's right. So and you have grown. It's challenging for me on this day because this day marks two years from this very day that my son Dorian was transitioned. And so I'm gonna open the seat in memory of my son. I'm gonna sow five thousand dollars. My God. Amen. <laughs> Is a good 
and their officers and their members are welcome to join me. Can I get a witness? Welcome to join me. You don't have to walk. Just be comfortable where you are. Make your seat, offering out to Central Baptist Church. You can also go online through PayPal, through eGiving. You can also use Gillify. There's a seed offered on Gillify that you can sow through Gillify. But just so and so believing that whatever you're asking God for, you're going to receive it. Amen. Somebody said, well, pastor, things are tight. I cannot do it. When you sow in faith, God has a way of working things out for you. Opening doors that you never thought possible. Trust and believe that God would do exactly what he said he would do. As our, our, our junior usher is going to come forth now, let's bless it in advance while you see that God thank you for this opportunity to sow. Thank you for providing so that Cook and I can sow in memory of our son doing it. So we can be a blessing to somebody else throughout this community for what you blessed us with. We bring it before you now, believing that you can do what no other can do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remain seated. They will pass the tray before you.
Let's thank God for our junior ushers who are doing a marvelous job. We thank God for the Amen. Anybody got an idea? They miss somebody. We're still celebrating my brothers and sisters and thankful for the Richard County Sheriff Department, Sheriff Leon Lott, for the wonderful workshop about active shooters within the church. What would happen if somebody came into the church and started active shooting? It's happened in other places. It could very easily happen in Columbia, South Carolina. That's right. And we believe that we, if we train our people properly, that we would know how to react in a situation when some things occur. So we're thankful for the wonderful workshop of training they provided for us. Amen. Amen. When we know better, we ought to do better. And we thank God for the training. Well, it's preaching time. We're thankful to God today to have with us my dear friend, Dr. Lucius Dixon, who serves as first vice president of our Congress of Christian Education for our State Education and Missionary Baptist Convention. We're very thankful. He and I met some 25 to 30 years ago at the Corner Mark Pantry right behind where Brooklyn Baptist Church sits. Amen, somebody. I was leaving church one evening, went in there, and he was working, amen, and we started a conversation. Let me tell you, like spirits will just draw people together. That's right, man. Amen. If you do anything this year, as you go into the new year, don't hang around negative folk. That's right, Pastor. They will drain your energy. Amen. You feel good after you finish talking to them and all that problem, you feel bad. That's right. Jesus Christ. And don't allow folks to pull you in their foolishness. Some folks aren't just happy being miserable by themselves. Mom and daddy said misery loves company. Just because you don't like somebody don't mean I don't have to like them because you don't like them. Amen. Surround yourself with positive people and watch how things will change in your life. Amen, somebody. And we're just thankful that on his itinerary, he was able to stop by the Central Baptist Church and say a word for us on our 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock service. Lucius Dixon is somebody's preacher. Get ready. He's going to deliver the word Amen. that God has given him to share with us. And we're thankful for his wife, Reverend Thelma Dixon. Amen. 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 Somebody. She has a sister here, Sister Syria McDaniel, one of our members who attend the 11 o'clock service is her sister. Amen. Amen. We were coming into church and we came in and Pastor Dr. Dixon was leading it and I saw his wife going behind her up on the roster. I said, now, and now, uh, why is she going up on the roster? She supposed to be sitting out there. But then I find out she's been lying and ordained for years. I didn't know that. Amen, somebody. I'm glad she shared that with me. Because I was going to get one of us to grab her by the hand and leave. I'm glad she shared that with me. You learn something all the time. Amen, somebody. You know why? Because she doesn't wear it on her sleeve like a lot of folks do. That's right. A lot of folks want to make it known to you. I'm, I'm a rebel. I'm a minister. But guess what? If the light is there, the light gonna shine. Yes, Amen, somebody. But well, we praise God much for them being with us on this day. After selection by our music ministry, our United Voices, by the leadership of Mr. Anthony Alton, the next voice that you would hear is of Dr. Lucius Dixon. Pray for him and pray with him and let the church say amen. 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 
How many of you went to bed praying last night? Well, we came to tell you. When I rose this morning, I woke. Yeah, I know. I know what prayer can do. Got up out of my bed, said I woke.
good God Almighty. Say it, I know it. of our faith. Yes, he is the reason we are in ministry for the purpose. Yes, Amen. Of serving and reaching the saved and the unsaved. That's right. I am elated to be called and sermon by God. Right. Let the church say amen. amen. To serve this present age. To Pastor and Mrs. Ezel Pastor and First Lady of the Central Baptist Church family, thank you for inviting me to worship and serve God by serving others. Amen. 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 I am blessed each time the Lord affords me the opportunity to serve his church that's all right. because this is how we serve God that's right. and that's by serving others. We don't worship others, but we serve them. Amen. To fulfill the ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I am also blessed to have my wife accompany me today. As you know, she is the first vice president of the Women's Auxiliary for the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Amen. We are elated to have her to be with us this morning. Pastor Ezel said he didn't know that she was an ordained minister. I would have you to know that before I started preaching, I used to be driving Miss Dixon to preach. <laughs> she was called and licensed before I was called. <laughs> I didn't get jealous. The Lord just called me later. <laughs> so we are very happy to have her with me this morning. We are truly a team for the cause of kingdom building. Amen. And I must say also that Pastor Ezia and I are very close friends. Amen. He is a friend unquestionable. Amen. And I am blessed by his friendship. We usually meet up every year at the Progressive National Baptist Convention. Sometimes we have lunch together and sometimes we have long conversations. So I thank God for Pastor Ezel. I'm very impressed by his outstanding and positive leadership throughout the state and abroad. And I want to thank again, thank you, Pastor Ezel. Amen. And now for the message which God um, has allotted for me to do today from the first epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 5 and 6, verses 5 and 6. We also bring you greetings from the Congress of Christian Education of South Carolina, where the Lord allows me to serve, as Pastor Ezel has said, first vice president. And from this passage where uh, it, it, the message will is designed, and reading from the New King James Bible, you will find these words, and I will read them in your hearing. First it said, verse 5 said, They are of the world, therefore they speak as the world. 
and the world hears them. We are of God. He who hears, knows God, hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. God's word to God's people. On this beautiful, brisk, cold Sunday morning, I want to talk from the subject, never underestimate God's power within you. For 2018. Never underestimate the power of God within you. For 2018. And I want to focus on greater is he that is in you. And there's a focus text in that same passage, John, um, 1 John 4 and 4. I want to read that and reiterate that verse in your hearing. It says, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you, listen at this now, is greater than he that is in the world. Never underestimate God's power within you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is light. God is love. God is life. John enjoys a delightful fellowship with God and desperately wants his spiritual children to enjoy the same thing. To enjoy fellowship with God, we must walk in the light. We must avoid falling in love with the world. Since we are God's children, church, we must walk in love in 2018. Love is more than just a word. It requires action because biblical love is unconditional. We who fellowship with God must pause his quality of life because life, because faith in God infuses us with God's eternal life. Isn't that right? As you read the epistle of John, you will uh, carefully notice several principles such as brokenness is God's requirement for maximum usefulness and it reminds us to, to obey God and leave all consequences to him. No matter what, you obey God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, from this text, you are asked, you are asked uh, to remember three things uh, to take home with you as you go through this week's life daily, and for 2018. Yes, sir. Amen. You are to remember that you are greater because, number one, because you are of God. Yes, You're greater because you are of God. Yes, Secondly, you are greater because you have overcome them. Yes. And thirdly, thirdly, he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Yes, I want you to remember those, those three points as I point them out later on in the text. Amen. God would have, God would have you to understand from this text that, uh, uh, and his message that you are better now, amen, and in 2018 than the world gives you credit for. You are right, you are, you are right more than you're wrong. You are stronger more than it appears that you are. You are, you are wiser than you are able to explain. You have more love than you can show. You are more appreciated than you are told that you are. I want you to remember that you are more caring uh, than you demonstrate. You are more giving than the government. Oh, yes. You are more happier than you express. You are more useful than you realize. Somebody say amen. You are more positive than you are negative. You are more intelligent 
then you can see and you are more knowledgeable then you uh, can articulate and communicate amen all because all because god has uh, something invested in you now and in 2018 watch this now amen and you are encouraged to never ever underestimate the power that god has invested within you now and in 2018 meaning that you are to never under under evaluate underrate never never misjudge never miscalculate yourself because if you and the life that you live can identify and line up with this text you are greater than all of the negative stuff that the world's label tag make ban on you the text speaks and alludes in your favor somebody say amen Amen. And John in this text uh, will have you to know that God is greater in you now and he will be greater in you in 2018 because uh, number one, you are of God. You are of God. Tell yourself that you are of God. John referred to Christians uh, as little children meaning that you did meaning that we are children of God and since we are children of God that means that God is in us God is our father in other words God is bigger than we are God is our heavenly father and because we are saved and living our lives according to the lifestyle of God watch this now God is in us and if God is in us, that means that, that we are greater than anything in the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Remember that. As a matter of fact, we are, we are better than the world. Yes. Amen. We are better than the world because uh, uh, we inherit or we receive portioned of God's greatness. God's love and God's forgiveness. We inherit portion of his peace uh, and joyfulness. We inherit, uh, amen, portion of uh, God's gift uh, and knowledge. Amen. We inherit portion of God's blessings. Amen. amen. Of God of all in which God is greater than, uh, amen, the world. And now and we are headed towards uh, 2018. Amen. amen. So, so if God is in you, you are greater. Amen. You are greater than the sinner. You are greater than the liars. You are greater than the troublemakers. You are greater than the men. You are greater than the backsliders. Amen. Amen. You are greater than the world. All because, amen, you are, oh God. You represent what God is all about. Amen. You stand for what God stands for. You talk the language of God. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you talk like a child of the king. Amen. You, you hate sin. Amen. But you love holiness. Amen. You despise the devil, but you praise God. Amen. Amen. You hate wrong, but you love righteousness. Somebody say amen. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you despise wrong, but you love righteousness. You detest hell, but you welcome heaven. Amen. You walk like a child of God, all because greater is he that is in you. Amen. Amen. And that is God. Well, now, you are of God because the things you used to do. You no longer do those things. Amen. You are God because of the company you used to keep. You don't keep it anymore. You are God of children because your heart has been changed. Oh, you, you, your week, amen, your weekdays are like Sunday morning worship service. 
Yeah, man, you pray every day. You sang spiritual law during the day. And man, you read it. You read your Bible every day. All because you are of God. Am I right about it? What a difference your life is since God has came into your life. I want you to know this morning, since you, I am a better person because the Lord has come in to my life. And I can't help but to praise his name because the Lord has come into my life I have something to shout about I have something to sing about greater is he that is in the world than he greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world I got my joy from the Lord, I got my peace from the Lord, I got my, my richness from the Lord, I may not be able to sing like an angel, but I do the best I can, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I come today to ask you a question. Is Jesus in you? Is he in you? Let him hold your hand. If you hold your hand, everything will be all right. I want you to know today that he's greater because you have overcome. We have overcome them. We overcome the backbiters. We have overcome the haters. We have overcome the lion tongues. We have overcome the ditch diggers. We have overcome the mean and nasty cussing for I'm so glad when I look back over my life I can say thank you Jesus I've overcome am I right about it but I want you to know today he's greater he's greater ain't the Lord greater do you know that he's greater he's greater because all power in heaven in earth is in his hand and because all power is in his hand I got my joy got my joy got my joy back because he is in me I can clap glad hands I can tell the world he's alright he's alright everybody know he's alright Because he has all power. He has all power in his hand. All you got to do is just trust him. Lean on him. 
and he'll never let you down no matter what 2017 has done for you look forward if you make it to 2018 you'll be greater if God got you through 2017 I know he'll get you through 2018 I'm expecting the Lord to open greater doors for me I'm expecting the Lord to do greater things for me I'm expecting the Lord to keep my body more healthier in 2018 if you keep on holding on if you stand by God he'll stand with you no matter what the world say about you no matter how things look no matter how you feel right now just think about it greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world I don't care how many friends you lost Jesus is the best friend you ever had I don't care how many doors that have been closed in your face Jesus can open new doors somebody say amen I don't care how the world looks at you but you keep looking at Jesus and if you keep looking at Jesus he'll hold your hand He'll guide your footsteps. He'll stand with you. When people are denouncing you, Jesus will pronounce you. When people or friends are befriending you, Jesus will be the best friend for you for a lifetime. All you got to do is just recognize the greater in you is God. And you can make it if you only try. You can keep, just keep on trucking. Just keep on doing I know what I'm talking about. 2015 and 2017 has been a rough year for this pastor, Pastor Dixon and First Lady Dixon. We've been through the ringer, but the Lord has been with us. The Lord has st stood with us. The Lord has stand by our side. And all we just got to do is keep on going, keep on trucking. And the Lord will do more marvelous things for you. The devil thought he had me. But look at me now. I'm still smiling. I'm still walking. I'm still preaching. Still doing the Lord's work. All because I, was, I recognize the greater in me than he that is in the world. Let the church say amen. Keep on looking. Keep on looking up for all your help come from the Lord Jesus will turn it around for you Jesus will keep your life moving in the right direction if you just stand with him I don't know what you're going through but I'm sure all of us are going through some stuff in our lives but if you stand with God never give up on God never underestimate the power that God has invested within you and I want you to do if you just lean on him, if you just lean on him, he'll never let you fall. You just lean on him. You just lean on him. I said he won't let you fall. If you lean, I want you to remember that. You just
church shall walk over now. No, he won't. If you leave, you just leave. Oh, leave. Oh, he won't let by the word today for this man of God. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise in this building. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's give God a hand of praise. Come on. Yeah, yeah. What a wonderful and marvelous word to remind us as we move out of 17 into 18. Greater is he that is within me than he that's in the world. So it doesn't matter what I encounter in the world. Since I am of God, I already have the victory. Amen. Come on, somebody on the shout that right there. Thank you, Dr. Dixon. It's amazing how God connects things. We have not talked, and people always think preachers talk. And last Sunday I talked about the greatest gift, the gift of love. God has a way of connecting the dots like God needs to connect the dots. Amen. Amen. There may be someone before us today. It's decision time for you. And I hear people so many times say, Reverend, when I get things right, I'm coming. Then you'll never come. You don't have the ability, the power, nor the strength to get it right all by yourself. The enemy is too powerful against you all by yourself. But when you are now in the household of faith, with other believers who are walking by faith and not by sight, then the strong of the bad infirmities of the weak. Can I tell y'all a secret that I don't share with too many folks? This pride with us, I'll let it go to the Father this Sunday morning. Everybody in here got some kind of issue. Nobody in here has it all together. That's right. Somebody else said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But we're pressing toward the mark yeah. of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you, when you press, sometimes you're going to stumble, sometimes you're going to fall, sometimes you're going to rise. But we got to keep on pressing. So nobody in here need to walk around with no halo over your head. That's right. Like you super spiritual. Like you've never done anything wrong. Like you've never been to some places you shouldn't have been. The truth of the matter, somebody's thinking something right now. You ain't got no good to say. <laughs> Don't y'all be playing with me early this morning. We've been together 21 years and begin the next Sunday. I know the real deal. Amen, somebody. But what I'm thankful for is God's amazing grace. Where well, he looked beyond my fault and supplied all of my needs. Let us stand together. If you desire membership with our church family, you may come by letter by your Christian spirits or candidate for baptism. We serve a whosoever will God. Whosoever will, let them come. There's nothing that you've done in your life that God cannot forgive you for if you're willing to repent and take it to the Lord. Amen. We're all pilgrims traveling through this barren land. 
We need God and we need each other. That's right. The Thank door of the you. church is open as our choir leads us in our invitation hymn. By Christian experience, candidate for baptism, my letter, you may come. Will you come today? Yes, yes, yes. Born of the Spirit and washed in His blood. Say, this is Praising